150 of these before shutdown, after shutdown, relocating out here to Pinballs, who have been amazing hosts. Yep. Dude, I'm, I'm loving it. We got, I'm not running the stream no more. I got my That's son right. on the ones and twos. The young prodigy. The Hello. young prodigy. We got the... Bro. Joey ain't running no tournaments. We got the young prodigy over there. Mm -hmm. uh, Mexi run tournaments. It's, it's been awesome. But And another young prodigy here, too. Yeah, H has been uh, showing up a little bit more as of late. He has been uh, he had a, a sponsorship from us at Heartbeat, and he did really, really did well. Great. Awesome performance there. Mm -hmm. Love to see the improvement. I know he's been kind of uh, wary about what character he plays. It seems like he's had like a flavor of the week for a long time. But mm -hmm. as of late, he's stuck with the Yoshi. And I just want to say that, yeah, H, if you if you ever hear this, I'm very proud of you for just sticking it out, picking the character, and doing well with that character. Because I know how it is to be in that character crisis, yep. bro. You just never know what to pick. But um, so far, he's holding his own against Bobbles here, who's always been confident in his character pick in Bowser. Mm -hmm. Ooh, <laughs> that didn't hit. Anyways. Oh, my God, bro. It's funny because we're talking about uh, players with uh, having character crisis. Mm -hmm. And Bobbles, even though he's been known as one of the Bowser mains, here in Austin, um, one of the staple Bowser mains, he has been kind of like having that character crisis, yeah, the busting out the wool, right, yeah. busting out the, the, uh, I almost said the Wii Fit trainer. I'm saying Pokemon right. trainer. Um, now even the Aegis. So yeah, I, I try to tell him, you know what? You can make Bowser work. Trust. Yeah. Like we're not talking about majors or anything like right. that. We're at regional level or at a, a local level. So um, what I like to see from him really is just I want to see his confidence in his gameplay. Right. He's got Stick the mechanics. He's yeah. got the reads, right? He's a seasoned player. You just have to be confident in some of these things. And when you're playing a big body, honestly, you got to play the big body tags. You know right. you're going to get hit. hit some, exactly. So. It's all about the mentality, really. And Honestly, that's something that you can always work on. The character has all the tools that you need. But mm -hmm. if you can make those reads or get the right punishes, then, man, the character is super rewarding. And even with this, man, a whole stock up, sitting on the, the worst spot you could be as Bowser mm -hmm. for the opponent. You don't want them at bro, max rage Bowser. Definitely one of the scariest threats in the whole game. For real. All right. Yeah, he's oh. just going to get rid of that one then. Which is good because another side B at that percentage with that rage yeah, would have taken him out. Yeah. Nice. That might. Yeah. yeah. Clean it up. It's going to be tough, but here's the thing about this character specifically, right? Yoshi kind of lives to keep you in the air. Right. And then a character like Bowser, who you're always kind of like worried about recovering, that was weird. Uh, oh, my oh, my God. God he man. won't let me finish my sentence. Oh my he won't let me finish my sentence. Anyways, all I'm saying is you, you get a lot of opportunities with these offstage interactions yeah. where Yoshi can either kind of follow you with egg or bu bust out the nair, right, and yeah. then be ready for that double jump. And what are they going to do? They're always going to put that fair out, right? Mm -hmm. So if I'm yeah H, I don't think I get worried yet. And instead, like, I think about, okay, what situations did I lose when we were here in neutral? And then what can I do to change that and put myself in an advantage state and get him off stage, and right? And keep him in advantage and keep state, him there. too. Yeah, because yep. if Bowser's in disadvantage the whole time, then it's a, a fun time. But mm -hmm. as soon as you give him one opening, especially with Bubbles right there, bro, he got a tech situation and immediately just one read, forward smash, you're gone at like 60. So you can't give him anything. Nothing. So, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a couple of adjustments. I don't think the gameplay necessarily was an issue. He just had to probably slow it down in neutral and, you know, take his time and disadvantage and choose the right options there. But... Mm -hmm. If you uh, if you let Bobbles get this open, it's going to be even rough. Yep. More rough for you. So let's see what we can do now in Small Battlefield. Kind of making it uh, the terrain a little bit smaller. I like this pick for Bobbles, honestly. If mm -hmm. It seems to be a little bit better for him, so I'm not sure what Yeah H was thinking with the switch to a smaller zone. Because, yeah, more opportunities for stuff like that. The drop zone fair mm -hmm. always going to put in work. Plus, like, you think about the stage in terms of how you section it out, right? And so... If you are Yoshi, and I actually played against studs, and he counterpicked me here, so I, I understand why they would want to go here, but at the same time, when you're thinking about a big body who controls a lot of space around them, has a great up out of shield, yeah. you think about how they perform. Ooh, oh, you're gone. Yeah. Yikes. You think about how they perform on those platforms, right? Yeah. And the fact that Bowser takes up all this space, but can also control it with a lot of hitboxes, is something that you want to consider when you're counterpicking to a dual plat stage, something like that. Right. And still being able to get reward off of the platforms, too, with the side B uh, killing you a little bit earlier. So mm -hmm. I do understand, though, if yeah, H can find his way in and stay in, if it's a smaller stage, you kind of control that space a little bit better. Right. But it, it, it goes the other way for sure. And so far, Bobbles has been displaying that to a T. Sitting at 173 on the last stock, not even worried, going out for some crazy stuff. So mm -hmm. definitely expect that at a certain point. You're good here, but one more of those. Oh. 
be pretty scary for you, H. Yeah. How do you get out of the corner? He's going to have to do something oh, crazy to get this game oh, back. Oh, knew he was going to jump out of that situation, just run up, knowing you can up smash. You have the armor just in case he throws out a hitbox. Mm -hmm. Really smart, really intelligent patience from Bobbles in the corner. That's the heavy gameplay you want to see. If you're stuck in the corner, how do you, you know, what options do you use? How do you use your resources in that situation? What do you think your opponent's going to be looking for in the situation? And